What the CGRP store has done has gotten us close to understanding the disorder um, in some parts of the final common pathway. And as you get close to the final common pathway, the artificial distinctions between acute and prevention, they, they seem to disappear. So I think that what's unique about the CGRP story is to bring therapy and understanding and pathophysiology together into something that's just going to revolutionise management. As I look at the landscape and I see monoclonal antibodies and I see small molecule CGRP receptor antagonist G-pants and colleagues ask me, where will they fit? I think they'll fit for the individual. I think what we're doing, it won't be that all G pants and all monoclonal antibodies, it'll be start with the patient, ask them what they want. Do they want an injection once a month? Do they want an injection every three months? Would they like to take a tablet every day? Would they like to take a tablet just when their headache comes? Would they only like to take a tablet when they feel the need to? There are tens, hundreds of millions of people with migraine. They don't want to want the same thing. What's wonderful about having this, this range in our armamentarium growing is instead of saying to someone, that's a choice, you can ask them what they want and they can fit the medicine into their, their life. Remembering that migraine steals time from people. It doesn't shorten their life, but it ruins part of their life. And if they can grab a hold of that and grab control of it using these different therapies, I think there's a place for all of the therapies because there's so many people with this problem.